Here at Amata Weld Tech, we have assisted thousands of customers over the past 70 years with their specific resistance welding applications. Using this hands-on experience and our homegrown weld monitors, we have been able to generate a lot of data. And with data comes knowledge. We have now taken this knowledge and condensed it down into an easy to use interactive tool that can help you solve resistance welding quality related issues. The tool has three major sections. First is the welding problem you are experiencing. These various quality issues are represented around the perimeter of the dark gray wheel. Second, you will see the four expected causes sections broken down in the four quadrants around the gray wheel. Those being material, weld head, power supply, and electrode. Lastly, you will see in the center four priority levels. This will assist you in identifying what possible causes you should investigate first. Let's continue now with our example of I have weak welds and what do I do? Well, step one. At the top of the wheel, you'll see two arrows that when selected will spin the wheel. Continue rotating the wheel until weak weld is highlighted in the red box at the bottom. Notice that as you spin the wheel, various potential causes around the perimeter become highlighted in red based on the specified weld problem. Step two, look at the material related issues and note the highlighted problems. Ask yourself, could the plating on my parts be inconsistent? Are my parts dirty or oxidized? Am I welding incompatible or dissimilar materials like copper and stainless? If none of these apply, move on to the power supply. Ask yourself, is the current energy sufficient to make this weld? Next, check your electrodes. Are they dirty? Do they need dressing? Is the tip malformed or mushroomed? Next, review the potential weld head causes, if there are any. However, in this case, nothing is highlighted so the non-highlighted items are not expected contributors to the weak weld problem. As an additional aid, we have provided some helpful hints about each potential cause. Simply click the highlighted cause and you will see our recommended solution. Finally, note that in the center of the wheel is a priority gauge. You will use this gauge to step through the troubleshooting process. Priority one is highlighted and is where you should always begin. Priority ones indicate the most common causes in each category for the selected weld problem. If everything checks out okay, move to priority two and continue the troubleshooting, and so on with priorities three and four. This tool and process of elimination is the same methodology applied by our applications engineers when helping customers troubleshoot, and most of the time it uncovers the source of the trouble quickly. However, if you need any additional help, you can always contact us directly using the Contact Us form on our website.